Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray Zero Space Life Station Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. This time we are going to launch something very different. Previously we have been launching basically the same sort of module, but we must, if we have a station in this game, add of course the really big 2XL part. So in this fairing we have the really big 2XL part. The It's a hydrogen tank. And so it's sort of natural because we've been using the nuclear engines anyway. Is this the only 2XL tank? Uh, it's named to be determined. And we have the nuclear engine in this uh, shield, uh, what you got, shroud here. And we've got some solar panels. We've got some mod propellant for the RCS because, of course, it has to dock to the station. And uh, in this case, we have sort of a separate launch booster. Of course, with the other ones, we had some boosters on the side, but the core was the station, uh, plus a uh, tug, basically. It was, the engine section was separatable, and we could bring it back. Speaking of which, we will bring back the one... Uh, uh, there's at least one currently attached to the station that we want to bring back. I think there's two, but uh, I'm doing this first, and then we'll bring those back. So yeah, we're going to dock this to the station and see if that works out for us. Hopefully that means that we'll have some hydrogen there so that we can refuel things like the tugs and that will be useful. Or maybe a lander for Lathe, I don't know. I haven't thought about that yet particularly, but um, we probably should have a lander for Lathe as well. We should be just building a station without a lander. So anyway, first this. And this will give us some fuel supplies there. We'll see how much we end up with. And maybe we can optimize this better. After all, the big tank here uh, was 56 tons, I think. And then, But this engine could uh, probably push much more than that. We could probably push two of those instead of just one without any trouble. Oh, sorry, 67.5 tons. But yeah, I mean, in space you don't need a high thrust weight ratio anyway. So we could probably launch more than this. But we'll see how much we reach uh, Lathe with. Uh, not controllable without a command module? I thought I'd put a command module. Uh, well, uh, I guess I had forgotten that. Whoops. I had put a reaction wheel, a battery, and I was supposed to put the command module here, but I guess I slipped up on that. Well, it's not exploding or anything. We've already time warped to the right window. And SAS is already on. Throttle up. And... Starting, ignition, and launch. Okay. Off we go. Put fins on in the hope of mitigating the effect of the fairings, but who knows. The main engine does have gimbling, three degrees of gimbling, and then we also have the gimbling on the boosters. Off it goes. Well, we should be through max Q and everything. Always good to make sure that the boosters last through that. I think I overdid it, but we'll use the main engine to help with our transfer too. Okay, we might as well cut it in coast. Let's get rid of the fairing. Eek. <laughs> that doesn't look good. We do have a big reaction wheel on here, so that helps. And then they go uh, suddenly, yep, suddenly do that thing. Gosh, that's sloppy. Okay. Alright. We didn't deorbit the booster. We're going to use it. It's got 1,200 left, so we might as well. After all, our goal is to deliver as much hydrogen over to Leith as possible. And the rest we'll do as a mid-course adjustment. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, unfortunately it's in the dark and I didn't put lights on this time. But here we go. Go. And separation. And ignition. Severe overuse of the swerve engine. They're gonna have to nerf the swerve. Potentially. At least the ISP of it, probably. Oh, well, let's just go with it. One, go. 
I mean, stop. All right. Now well, let's get into daylight first. Everything else we can do at the mid-course adjustment, so, or correction. Incidentally, the mod propellant tanks here are just so that we could fill the gap between the spherical 2XL tank and the docking ports and obviously those things there because otherwise they don't fit quite right and you'd have to like clip it in or something. Uh, so basically these pill mod propellant tanks are sort of covering that up and that's how I decided to do the mod propellant on both ends. It's an interesting descending node we've got there. Well, yeah, now it's just uh, inclination burn, so let's plot that. I decided not to launch two missions this time because it was a little bit cumbersome. Yeah, I, I think instead of finagling some sort of capture, I'll just do it uh, close to Jewel. Somebody suggested going into... up. Oh, there was something there. Somebody suggested going into Jules Atmosphere, but I don't feel like I want to bother. It's not worth it, I don't think. Uh, it only happens briefly. It only flashes, I can't nail that one down. Here we're uh, encountering Tylo. But that's not super useful. We will keep it simple, just like that. And the camera always is super zoomed out on this. Okay, well, departing Kerbin. Okay, mid-course correction time. Uh, we'll do the rest when we get into the SOI. That looks, that looks fine for now. Okay, proceeding. Okay, we are in Jules SOI. We are going radial in. Okay, that'll be enough for me. Okay, there's Jewel. Our little sphere is looking like a moon if you ignore the rest of it. You know, there's another moon there, but you zoom out, you know, it's almost like a moon with extra. Okay, capturing. Okay, that should be fine. We will want to have some inclination correction and stuff like that. Uh, let me target lathe. Ah, uh, the ascending and descending node had to be over here. Well, anyway, we have the delta V. About 400. Lists our orbit because it added some energy into it. Oh, never. We, we don't need to plot two <laughs> at the same time. Uh, that never works. Forget it. Okay. Yep, got it right. All right, no problems. On to Apoapsis. We just want one tangency point. Boy, that ship icon is really huge. Okay, whatever, I'll take it. Let's get down there. And ignition. Maybe we, when 2A and 2B are close together. Really, I, I should just take the first opportunity of that and then do the rest of the retro when we're in Leaf's influence and have its gravity helping us for that sort of thing. But uh, this is okay too. Especially since it's not going to show us our encounters at all. It should be a pretty close encounter, but it's not... It's like 40-ish kilometers, so we're probably crashing into Lathe. It's not really telling me details. Yeah, we are crashing into Lathe. Okay, so we want to... Now this its icon is really tiny. It's at target. And we actually want to be on this side, so... Okay, that's... Fine periapsis, I think, but we might as well match periapses with the station. 
Okay, that's one tangent. See, it's not showing me your, my relative inclination with it, though. So we'll just have to capture first, I guess. Oh, I think we passed periapsis. Oops. The numbers. It should be T plus. It should be T plus. Well, let me go past it so we get the next encounter. And then when we pull our orbit down, it'll show that. Um, that's a lot of relative speed. Uh, we also have the inclination there now. And we get about seven kilometers away right now. That's because we're a little bit off. Let's go ahead and correct that inclination up there. We don't need to, we could just do it when we meet up with it, but uh, this might be better. It might get us closer to the target initially. And well under one kilometer is even nicer, but we have to be careful with that relative speed. I will check that I'm controlling from there and the docking acquiring force is 10%. Okay, retrograde with respect to target. Oops, I tried to use my throttle. Oh, I'm too late, I'm too late, I'm too late. Our huge engine was not that good. Let's go with 50 kilometers. I mean, sorry, 50 meters per second. And, well, I'll time warp until we get to... Like two kilometers. We have some jewel glow on us. Okay, at this point I'm going to save. Okay. Alright, now where do we want to dock this thing? I, I had a place in mind, but I need to find it. Over here or over on the other side? I think it'd be better balanced. I think this port will be better balanced. Well, I've got a nice reaction wheel. Time to use it and the jewel glow. I should have probably had those thrusters on these small propellant tanks so that they weren't firing at the at the solar panels. Docking by Jewel Glow. Okay, coming into alignment here. Nice and smooth. One reason I didn't do the return of the engine modules first was because, well, undockings are a little bit touchier than the dockings. So we'll see. We'll see if it's possible to do those undockings without glitching things out. Of course, we know that we shouldn't time warp close to the thing. But that's just one mitigation factor. Looking good, though. And even though I've targeted this docking port, it doesn't read the distance to that docking port. It still reads it to the hub. Nope. Dawn is approaching. And that is us approaching, but now the velocity vector is just not very good at showing me what's going on. But it looks pretty good right now, so I'll just keep it going like this and hope that the phenomenal magnetism... Oh, wow, that was more phenomenal than I was expecting. I was just looking at it going, maybe I should turn it a little bit this way. It looked a little bit off, but nope, nope, that's fine. <laughs> They'll take that. All right. Uh, it's the rotation's a little bit off, though. Okay. Well, that's our station now. Um, let me get it into better. I mean, this this is pretty epic. Ooh, that didn't make me feel better. Yeah, it lurches a bit when you come out of time warp. That's one of those not a good sign things. But okay. Yeah, that's probably the view we want. Okay, well, 
next up we're going to try and bring one of the tugs back. I, I don't think I want to do both at the same time because that's a lot of juggling. And that will ensure that both of our engine modules are ready to go. Turbine has to be 48 degrees behind us, so we need to go to the tracking station and let it catch up. Okay, I'm gonna take that angle. Let's see if that's good for us. Let's get to work. Seems to indicate there's something around Tylo, but I don't know what that might be. Right? That's what that little thing means. Uh, well, no, maybe it just always has... No, it usually only has that if there's something in orbit around it. I don't know what that might be. All right. Okay, which side do we want to bring back? Maybe we should try and bring both at the same time, but it seems dangerous. I guess we'll try and do both. Uh, this time we're not going to try to do it directly out of Leif SOI. We're going to break orbit first and then worry about our transfer back to Kerbin. Okay, well that's already going out. <laughs> um, Oh, see, that's the trouble. It's tempting to just do the transfer out directly. Since the direction away from the station is retrograde, I'll go into a lower orbit first. Just to get away. And from this lower orbit, we will transfer out. Now, that's not a helpful orbit to be in. We're, pro we're far enough away, I think. Yeah, let's just time warp until Leith is in a good location. Well, our spacing should be alright with the station, so let me boost up just so I can get better time warping. Okay, now if we exit out of Leith SOI, we should be going the right direction to also exit Jewel Space. Like that. But is it going to be right for Kerbin? That's that's a finickier timing thing. But it's just 783 to exit jewel space like this, so it's probably a good thing. Okay, go. Okay. So that gets us out like that. And then once we're here, maybe we can adjust things a bit. Lots of radial here though. 1560 for that, if we want to do it directly here. Not a bad encounter. L let me just see, I don't know if this is going to work very well, but how much it's going to take to capture. Oh, I can't tell. Well, at least tell me if I don't have enough. Oh, it's telling me I don't have enough. Hmm, but we are a little bit further out here. This is a pretty serious radial burn though. You can, let's look at that. Because I'm rushing it. Maybe if I do it further on, it'll be better. I mean, after all, radial burns close to a planet are bad, so... Okay, well... This is in 47 days, and we'll try it. But uh, probably with the other one, we need a different strategy. So right now, it's in... sort of an escape trajectory out of Leith, and then we have to do a maneuver all the way out here. Uh, we've got the other one. Let's see what to do with that. I guess we'll control that. Okay. What kind of state are we in? We're in an okay state, it seems. Okay, second engine module is away. Uh, you know where we're at right now? We could probably go prograde and not hit the station, and we could benefit from that. This time, we will just break Leif Orbit. It does put us in a high orbit. And actually, entering... Is that Val's SOI or Ty uh, entering Tylo's SOI? Crashing into Tylo, in fact. So we'll have to do something about that. But we'll plot it here. And maybe that'll be better for finally 
getting to Earth. Oh, sorry, Kerbin, not Earth. And then Tylo's getting in the way and such. So that's not great. But uh, maybe maybe it can help, I don't know. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, it looks like maybe we're even getting some help out of Tylo here. Okay, well Tylo's actually making it super touchy. <laughs> uh well. It's probably not going to show me an encounter because we've got the Tylo encounter in the way, but that's really close. So we'll take that, 694, and getting some help out of Tylo. Right now we're crashing into Tylo, but we can, we're moving away from that. Alright, let's see if this works. Departing Leith. Okay, we are now in Jules SY. Oh, oh, a little bit late. Oh no. This is probably pretty touchy because of Hilo. Okay, we got rid of our crash. Probably want the same periapsis around Tylo. Uh that doesn't look like the right place though. <laughs> uh Just a few seconds off, but we're not... I mean, it's the right periapsis, but not the right location. Let's see what's happened. Well, I guess we'll get rid of this. There's no option for that now. Well, that's a periapsis inside, so that's too much. Okay, well, we'll take that tangency for now. So, we are passing through Tylo SOI. And we'll actually get to see Tylo, because it'll be lit. Oh no! KSP2 crash! No. Alright, well, I'm trying to load the most recent autosave. I generally don't like using the autosaves. Uh, I swear there was some weird wiggling there, but... Okay, but maybe that's just a normal actuation. They did a lot of extra animations there. Okay, well, we're here with this. And this is passing through Tylo. So it saved, auto saved right when we were entering Tylo SY. So this is basically where we were at, where we crashed, and it had just saved ahead of that. Is this a safe save? I do not know. But we'll just proceed. Okay, we were about to take a look at Tylo here. Okay. We have passed by Tylo back in Jewel SOI. Let me see if we can make a correction here to improve our approach to Earth. Ah, I keep saying Earth. Uh, to Kerbin. Oh, well, we'll need it. <laughs> okay, there's an encounter with 251. That's still better than the other option that we did with the other engine cluster. Well, that just looks like an inclination thing that we should do in a mid course correction, so we'll leave it be. We'll just do this 251 here. Yeah, uh, with, with the big sphere, it always, after I went into map view, zoomed out too much. With this, it always zooms out, zooms in too close. I don't know how that all works out. Anyway, there is hope. All depends how much it takes to capture around Kerbin. Yes, we have to pass the border of Jewel SOI. It's not going to show us. Maybe if I make a mid-course correction, it will. It's switching back and forth between two different options. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Let's see how much it takes to cap... Well, we can't see. <laughs> well, we can get the message where it tells us that it's costing too much, I suppose. If it gives us that message... It doesn't. So this one can capture, in theory. It's got to take 66 more once we get into 
interplanetary space. And we're doing a burn. Uh, well, I, the, the other orbit is the resulting orbit after we pass Kerbin, I suppose. Okay. Right. So that's it for this one. We'll wait until it gets to interplanetary space. So we are going to switch back to this one. And do its maneuver there. Which does the result of which isn't even being shown here right now. <laughs> oh wait, we have to focus. Still not being shown here. Okay, and go. Oh, it's pulsing. It's pulsing. That's not right. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh I uh, Is it doing it right, the right thing at all? I don't know. Well, well, our orbit is coming closer to Kerbin's orbit, so I guess yes. But this has lost all sense of where it's at. Just can't get any good help from these nodes these days. Boy, that iteration is really horrible right there. Well. Make course adjustment. Okay, well, we're not seeing a good encounter here. Somehow it all got messed up. Oh, the sending node is floating up there. Oh gosh. So this one will take an extra amount of time to get back. And we've got two missions. Let's see what goes on. That one is going out more. Uh, who? Oh, shucks. Okay, neither of them is ending up in the orbit that we left them in. Neither of them is in the orbit that they were supposed to be in. It's, it's actually pretty subtle. It's not like they're being flung out of the system or anything. Uh, of course, both of them had tangency orbits to Kerbin, and it's just not... It's nowhere near it. I think I'm just gonna leave them. I'll... Yeah, I'm bummed out, because it's just... I took a lot of time trying to get the nodes right and trying to get them back, but it's nowhere near... Uh, once we cross the SOI boundary out of Jewel, they're totally messed up. So, uh, that's gotta cost more in... I'm tired of it. So maybe bringing them back from Jewel is not a good idea right now until the next version. And I don't know if we can slow them down properly so that they can capture into Kerbin Orbit with the Delta V they have. Now, if we had the original plot, then I think we would have made it, especially with the one that was seeming pretty good for a capture. But right now, not so much. So that's a little bit sad, but let's at least make sure that our station is okay. These are secondary after all. So tracking station. I'll think about what to do with those later. Combine 13. Uh, okay. Alright, it is still okay. So I'll leave it here, though the burn... I'm just going to get rid of the burn. That's probably not relevant anymore. Uh, so, yes, we have a station. It has been expanded, and we will continue to expand it in subsequent episodes. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.